Two months ago, I did not have very nice eyebrows, but holy cow, that has changed. So I now have perfect brows every single day and I don't put any product in them at all. So if you're looking for those beautiful, perfect brows every single day, then this is the video for you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video. Now this may not be a new concept for many of you, but it really was for me, the idea of a semi-permanent eyebrow. It's also called microblading. So what is it? Microblading uses a semi-permanent makeup technique where a small handheld tool is used to deposit pigment into the skin, creating the illusion of natural brow hairs. Now this is actually a skill and a technique that's, that's learned and honed over time. So more specifically, I used something called Fee Brows. This uses a specific methodology to achieve a standard of symmetry and balance based on the golden ratio. So this uses measurements in rules rather than just opinion or preference, whether that's the preference of the individual or the esthetician themselves. Now I chose to do this because one, I had a car accident in high school, face went into the windscreen and there are areas where my eyebrows, where the hair doesn't grow. So I've kind of had these gaps and it's really dictated the shape of my eyebrows. Um, so I, I really was curious to know in a perfect world, what should that shape be? And two, I'm really just crap <laughs> at the makeup side of application and making them look good. Now I did use this stamping method. There's a product by Trio Beauty, I think it's called, where you actually stamp it on. And by using that product, it actually made me want to do something a bit better because it gave me better looking um, eyebrows. They were, the shape was beautiful and it was just, it was a bit perfect as opposed to me trying to draw things on. So that really got me thinking about what can I do that's gonna be a bit more permanent, that I don't have to muck around with every day, and that's just gonna suit me and my face shape. So how does it work? So I showed up um, for my treatment session with pretty much a cleaned face, but I did have sunscreen on. So she started off by just cleaning and removing the area so there was nothing on my skin. And then she applied a numbing cream. And you might wanna ask about this in advance, and I did, because a number of people have said to me that it really kinda of hurt, you know? So I probably should have taken some ty Tylenol or some ibuprofen before I went. So note to you guys out there, if you undertake this, maybe take some um, paracetamol or something before you go. She waited about five minutes until that set um, and before we got started. And then I sat up and this is where we did all of the measurements. And I just thought this was so fascinating because I've always wondered what the right shape is. I mean, how did people even know this? Um, and I think it was those little stamps that got me thinking about it. So this is purely based on measurements and the golden ratio and what is gonna be right based on my face dimensions. Everybody's face shape is different. Their eyes are set in different places, the distance to nose and all that sort of stuff. So they're using scientific methods and measurements to determine that. I do know that Feebrow also offers an app, but she doesn't use it. She's been doing this for so long, she doesn't actually need that sort of guidance. It was also at this stage that we did talk about color because obviously I wanted her professional opinion. She does this every single day and she did suggest we go with a very dark brown. My hair color is very dark brown. I know it doesn't look like it, but in reality it is. I was a little bit nervous because my hair color is so light, but she said, look, you should stick to as close as your natural color as possible. So we said, okay. So I saw the shape was so different for the eyebrows. They were bigger and they were certainly not positioned in the same place that my actual eyebrows were. So I was very intrigued, a little freaked out, but I was trusting in the process. And when she started to apply the color, it was the strangest sensation. It felt like, scraping of the skin. I mean, obviously there was numbing cream on, it did not hurt in any way. It just felt like a scraping motion. It was very unusual. And it wasn't like getting a tattoo, which I did find to be a bit more painful. So it wasn't that sort of in and out pricking you get with a tattoo needle. It was more of just kind of the scraping. So there was no pain whatsoever. It was just a bit unusual. So she did apply numbing cream halfway through in order to finish off the process. And there is one point, I don't know what she was doing here. <laughs> It looks like I'm assuming that, you know, she's created the openings with the tools and she was applying ink with the tool, but perhaps there's an overlay then of color, which is then wiped away to kind of fill in all of those little areas and holes. Okay, so what did I think? My initial thoughts, <sighs> love at first sight. I mean, if Gary could share with you the look on my face and the smile on my face, it was beautiful. You could see all these little individual hairs and the shape, was so perfect. It's like I didn't even realize how badly I wanted that done. I did think it was a little bit dark and I actually thought it skewed a little bit red in these initial photos, but I didn't care. I just thought it looked so good. I'm telling you for weeks after, I 
I could just see the difference and it kind of would startle me forgetting I'd had it done and then I'm like yay this is so nice. I absolutely love it. Now I knew that that color was going to dissipate and it was going to fade out a little bit and it wasn't going to be as stark as it was on day one or on moment one which is essentially what these photos are um, but I was happy with it even if it hadn't faded I would have been super happy. So how long does it last? That was one of the first questions that I had for her too. Now this can vary. In theory it should last between 12 and 24 months but there are factors that can speed this up or slow it down. One is oily skin. If you have really oily skin, it's just harder to maintain that ink within the skin. You do have to be diligent with the aftercare or that will affect it. And I may have had that happen. So the first day I had it done, I was applying micellar water quite regularly to that just to make sure that it was kept clean. And after that first day, and even throughout that first day, I was applying a tattoo cream, and that's just to help with the healing and to keep the skin moisturized. Now, you can't get it wet for a week. That's a little tricky to do when it comes to showers. So I was just bringing the shower cap like over my eyes. It was a bit weird, but you need to keep it dry. And I didn't the first time by accident, there was some issues with it. And when I went back in for my follow-up, which is a standard part of the process, you go back six to eight weeks later, I found that there was a lot of fading of the ink and that's because it had gotten wet. It had lightened a little bit within those six to eight weeks, but it was not a big deal. It, it got to a point that it was just perfection. So incredibly happy with the results. So how much does this cost? Now, I probably don't have to say it, but I'm going to be very careful and very choosy about who you go to for this type of procedure. Anything that has to do with permanency for one or anything that has to do with skin, at least I think so, I am very, very slow to engage. So I did lots of research. I talked to lots of people. I looked at recommendations. I looked at reviews. So the person that I went to in the end, her name is Rachel Crow. She's in Blessington, which is just outside of Dublin. Highly recommended. And if you look at her work, it is stunning. The pricing can vary. And that's why I kind of want to emphasize, don't go for the cheapest because you really don't always know what you're going to get. Um, and there is a big range here when it comes to cost. I've seen it anywhere from 250 to 700, depending on who you go to. At the time that I had this done, which is over the summer, the standard cost I think is 400 with Rachel, but she was doing a summer promotion. So it was 300, yay. And so that covers the initial session as well as the follow-up session that you have six or eight weeks later. So make sure that you do your research, you take your time, don't rush into anything, and don't select just based on price because you're going to be stuck with this for a while. So make sure that you trust and you're happy with who you go with. So you guys, that is it for today's video. I know it's a quick one, but it's one that has made such a difference to how I feel when I look in the mirror. It seems like such a silly thing and I'm sorry, but I, I, I absolutely love it. I feel the shape is better. You know, I had too much of an arch because I didn't have any hair in certain places, but look at this. Every day it looks smashing. I don't have to put anything in my eyes. I don't put anything in my eyebrows. You know, you could use a gel if you're trying to really mess with the structure of the hairs, but I don't even put anything in my eyes. I don't. A little bit of mascara, maybe, and off I go. And even if I leave the house without anything on my face at all, I know that my brows look great. So for me, incredible investment worth every freaking penny. And if you're in Ireland or in Dublin and you're looking to have it done, Rachel Crow is your gal. I'll put a link to her Instagram profile down below. So have you done this yourself? Have you been thinking about doing this? Um, I will never go back. I can tell you that right now. I would love to hear your thoughts. So please do leave comments for me down below. So if you like the look of this video, I please hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Please, please, please. So few of you actually do. And also give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for joining me here today and I'll see you at the next video. Bye. It's on now, Mary. Okay, so showtime.